Owners of four luxury flats overlooked by the Tate Modern have won their Supreme Court privacy battle over the gallery's viewing platform after a judge ruled living in the homes was like being on display in a zoo. Residents of the multi-million pound Neo Bankside flats on London's South Bank launched a legal bid to close down the viewing platform in the art gallery which allows hundreds of thousands of museum visitors to look inside their homes. They first applied for an injunction in 2017 requiring the Tate to cordon off parts of the platform or to erect screening to block the views of their homes to stop what they said was a relentless invasion of their privacy. The owners lost the last stage of their fight at the Court of Appeal in February in 2022 when a judge agreed with a previous High Court decision which suggested the owners could simply lower their solar blinds or install privacy film or net curtains. However, in a ruling on Wednesday, the Supreme Court ruled by a 3-2 to two majority in the residents' favor. The owners had argued that the platform goes against their right to privacy, as enshrined by Article 8 of the European Convention of Human Rights. ECHR. The five residents, Giles Fern, Gerald Craftman, Lindsay Urkigart, and Ian and Helen McFadden, lost their case in the High Court and Court of Appeal, taking their case to the UK's highest court in December 2021. Giving the court's majority ruling, Lord Leggett said the lower courts had found that the living areas of the flats, which have floor-to-ceiling windows, were under constant observation from the Tate's viewing gallery for much of the day, every day of the week. He continued, It is not difficult to imagine how oppressive living in such circumstances would feel for any ordinary person, much like being on display in a zoo. Lord Leggett found that the Tate Modern's viewing gallery is not a normal use of the museum's land and is a legal nuisance to the flat owners. He said, it is beyond doubt that the viewing and photography which take place from the Tate's building cause a substantial interference with the ordinary use and enjoyment of the claimant's properties.